Hey guys, Motor Car Not here, and today we're talking about O2 sensors, oxygen sensors, air fuel sensors. Basically, this video is about the locations of them. There's a lot of terminology of what's bank one, post, upstream, downstream, pre. Um, it's all confusing, right bank, left bank, uh, bank A, bank B, what's going on? I'm going to explain everything like I do in most of my videos in layman's terms. Uh, so you can understand a lot easier. Uh, this is an oxygen sensor um, and what it does and there's other videos on what they do, but basically this uh, sniffs the, um, the uh, exhaust gases before the catalytic converter, goes inside the catalytic converter, and then there's another sensor that sniffs it again to make sure that everything is correct. Um, basic little simple operation I can explain to you is when it comes out of the exhaust, the uh, emissions come out of the exhaust, comes out of the um, exhaust, it goes into a catalytic converter, but before it goes into that catalytic converter, there's an O2 sensor that sniffs it and says, okay, it's a little rich. So now it goes in the um, catalytic converter and then there'll be another sensor on the bottom that sniffs it again and goes, okay, we made the good correction, let's leave it like that. So when the, any of these things mess up, the computer doesn't like it, it's going to throw a code. It may say O2 sensor, bank one, upstream. What does that mean in all of this? Now I'm going to explain it. Okay? So. Yeah, I got a little schematic here. All right, I'm not, I'm not Van Gogh, but you know, I try my best. Okay? So first thing is, what is upstream and downstream? Well, here's the catalytic converter, okay? Here's the pipe coming from the exhaust manifold, and there's gonna be a sensor somewhere on the top before the catalytic converter, okay? That's called a pre-cat upstream O2 sensor. So whatever you wanna call it, they may call it a pre-cat filter, I mean um, O2 sensor, upstream O2 sensor, uh, bank A, O2 sensor, bank B, O2 sensor. So to, to make it all, to make you understand it better, any sensor, O2 sensor or air flu, fuel sensor, they may, they may like to play around with the names a lot, but they're basically all the same thing. They control the oxygen, oxygen uh, that's in the uh, exhaust and it may, it may be running rich, it may be running lean, and the O2 sensors are supposed to pick that up. Coming out of the engine, it takes a sample, and after the catalytic converter that's supposed to clean it all up, it takes another sample. If those two oxygen sensor readings are off, it tries to adjust. If it can't adjust, that means one of them can be bad, the wiring can be bad, like on this thing. Well, it wasn't this. I, I, I cut that off to get it off, but it was basically laying on the drive shaft, and the drive shaft chewed it up. So, I'm getting back to this now. So now anything after is called post. Post cat O2 sensor, downstream O2 sensor. Okay, so now let's say you have um, a four cylinder car. All right, it may say bank one, sensor two, or bank one, sensor one. All right, and there may be like on scan tools may say bank two sensor, but, but there's gonna be no, no data there. That's because there is no bank two on a four cylinder. Okay, even if it has dual exhaust, usually coming right out of the exhaust, it's only going to have one pipe, and then it may split off the two. It gives you the illusion that you have two exhausts, makes it look cool and everything in the car, but basically you've got to force on the car. All right, it doesn't have two banks. All right, so let's say if it says uh, bank, one, uh, bank one sensor one, what's that mean? Sensor one is the top one. Okay, sensor two is the bottom one. Uh, upstream sensor is the top one. Downstream sensor is the bottom one. All right, pre-cat sensor is the top one. Post-cat sensor is the bottom one. They use all these terminology and it confuses you. Okay, so now it gets even more confusing if you have a V6 or V8 because it does have two, two banks. So basically, let's say if you have a six on the car, right? It's gonna have two, four, six, one, three, five. Or whatever fire in order. Well, one side of the engine is a bank. The other side is the other bank. Which one is bank A? All different cars, they're different. What you're going to do is you have to find the number one cylinder. 
okay? If you got the number one cylinder, here's the front of the vehicle. Number one cylinder is on the driver's side, that me and that will be bank one. That means, let's say if you have uh, a code for O2 sensor, that is, let's say, bank two, sensor two. What's that? Bank two, sensor two. Okay, we all know this is bank one. This is bank two. Upstream is one. Sensor two would be the one that's all these names. Post, cat, downstream, sensor two. Okay, um, on bank two. So hopefully that clears it up. Okay, so let's do another one. Um, let's, a V8, the same thing. V8 is going to have a set of cylinders on one bank and a set of cylinders on the other. You have to find the number one cylinder. Number, a lot of people go, oh, number one cylinder is always on the driver's side. No, it's not. Because I can show you a Jeep right now that it's on the, it's on the uh, passenger side. The front passenger side is number one cylinder. So that means that's the number one bank. Okay? So that's the number one thing you got to do on your own is find if you have a six or eight cylinder car, is, or five cylinder, or five cylinder is going to be straight, uh, six cylinder car, eight cylinder, you have to find number one, and then everything else, you can use this terminology. All right? I can just stop this. I can just uh, hold it like that so you can re, you know, stop the video and take a snapshot of this. All right? And... And that's basically it, basically it. So let's say, do another one for a little quiz. Let's say you have uh, a, a bank one sensor one, or it says bank one upstream, or it says bank one uh, pre, O2 sensor, which one is that? We already know this is bank one, all right? This is bank one, and it's this one on the top, okay? So there could be a, a whole bunch of names for the, for the, for the um, sensor one could be the top one, sensor two could be the, not could be, it is, all right? So it gets confusing, not, and, and to find them in the car is not easy either. You know, they're not like, you know, a lot of times they're hidden in the frame or something like that. Uh, okay, which, what are they talking about? So that's how you diagnose what it was. This one came out of uh, bank two, Sensor 2. So that came out of this one. Okay, because we know that's the first. That's number one. That's bank one. This is bank two. Sensor 2. Postcat. Downstream. Sensor. And it's good when you're ordering sensors too to know what you're ordering. All right? So, and that's basically it. Um, what I can do is I can bring it to the car and just show, physically show you what they look like. And I'll do that now. Okay, so let's use this Jeep as an example to find out the locations. All right, so now on this car, I know. And how do you find out the firing order? You, do, you can go online, punch up year, make, and model, firing order, what location it's on. Uh, I can't really do videos on that because they're all thousands. They're all in all different locations on a lot of vehicles. So what I know for a fact over here is number one cylinder, the one in the front. Okay, so we know this is bank one. Okay, simple as that. Pass, uh, driver's side is bank two. So now we go up here. And we look for the O2 sensor. That's right here. You see this one? You see this one right here? The wire right here? And it goes back over there. So what sensor is this now? Bank two, sensor one, upstream, all right, pre-cat, whatever you want to call it, or whatever they call it, because they confuse you. Um, so that's, okay, that's the one on the top. You have to make sure that there's none above it, which there isn't. Okay, now we'll show the one on the bottom. Okay, now we're on the bottom. There's the one that's up there, and then there's one where my finger is right here. See the hole right here? I took the old one out. Okay, so that's bank two. Sensor 2, post sensor, downstream sensor, okay? And that's how you know. And on the other side would be bank 1, the one on the bottom, would be uh, sensor, sensor um, 1, 
bank one sensor two, I'm sorry. And this is bank two sensor two. And on the scan tool or on a, uh, a repair manual, you may see these, okay? Bank one, sensor one, bank one, sensor two. Bank two, sensor one, bank two, sensor two. You may see it written like that too. It's very confusing, that's why I figure I made this video. Hopefully you'll understand. Um, and if it says air, air, air fuel sensor, that's basically the same thing. Uh, it may look a little different, but it acts the same way. It's a little bit different, but you know, you don't replace an O2 with an air, air fuel, like on Hondas and Toyota, sometimes they'll have uh, a different uh, nozzle. I mean, you have to replace the O2 uh, or the um, air, flu, air fuel uh, sensor that belongs to your car. Never switch them around. Okay? And that's it. More to come up. Please subscribe. Hit that like button. Any questions pertaining to the video, uh, leave them. And I answer all my questions. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. All the feedback I'm getting. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you.